We begin in Plateau State, where the election petition tribunal sitting in Jos has affirmed the election of Governor Caleb Muftwang of the People's Democratic Party and dismissed the petition filed by the All Progressives Congress candidate in the March 18th election, Mr. Nentawe Yilwada. Delivering the unanimous judgment, Justice Sunday Lauren Downsy dismissed all three grounds filed by the petitioner as lacking in merit. Dismissing the issue of lack of structure, the tribunal held that the PDP had a valid Congress on September the 25th, 2021, as well as a valid structure to sponsor a candidate. The court held that the petitioner failed to prove allegations of non-compliance with the Electoral Act and overvoting. <laughs> The supporters of the PDP who hit the streets of Joss in jubilation shortly after the tribunal delivered its verdict, shouting and praising the judgment. Meanwhile, Governor Muftwang has also joined in hailing the judgment, which is described as victory for democracy and the judicial system. I want to also thank God for the judges that sat in this tribunal for giving them the heart to be honest, to be dedicated, to do justice in accordance with the dictates of their conscience and of course according to law. I have always been confident that what Despite the criticism of the judiciary, I have always believed that there are men and women of integrity that sit on the bench and at the right time, when they are called upon, they will do that which is right. Justice is not something that uh, is rocket science. When justice is done, the people feel it. And I'm sure you can see the way the state capital has ruptured in joy and the reports we are getting from the various local governments that people are in a state of ecstasy and giving thanks to the Almighty God. I therefore want to use this opportunity to call on my friends who were the petitioners that it is time for us to unite and move the state forward. The dissipation of energy on litigation is unnecessary, especially when it is clear that the people have spoken.